The Ashland Sevens advanced to the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Final Four, which took place at Adams Stadium in Quincy. The Sevens finished the regular season in first place, so therefore they were the one seed throughout the playoffs. The first game for Ashland in the Final Four took place Tuesday, August 11th. In their first game, they took on Quincy. Dom Cavanaugh got the start on the hill for the Sevens. Bottom of the first, Ashland got the bats going. And Steve Parsons wind up in the pitch. This is hit up the middle and it's gonna split the gap into right field. One run is gonna score for Ashland and Cavanaugh is gonna make his way over to third. A RBI base hit for Tyler Dossis. It remained a one nothing Ashland lead until the top of the fifth. Zach Hatfield to the plate. Two outs on the inning. Ashland still with a one to nothing lead here in this top of the fifth. Kavanaugh looks at second and deals. Hit on the ground. And that's going to split the middle. The runner being sent around and Tolan the throw home was cut off. And it is a tied game, one to one. Quincy plates a run with an RBI double from Zach Hatfield. He's been a nuisance for Ashland today. The Sevens fought back in the bottom of the fifth. Wind up in the pitch. This is a blooper to shallow center field and it's gonna get down. Two runs are around to score as the center fielder mishandles the ball and Ashland is going to take a three to one lead, plating two runs off of a two RBI single for Dom Cavanaugh. And Coach Obed is jazzed right now. And really put this momentum away in terms of Quincy, but Dawson is gonna answer back. Another huge hit for him on the night. Kavanaugh is going to be waved around. Is he going to score from first? The throw is cut off, and Kavanaugh is going to get there in time. A 4-1 to one lead for Ashland off of an RBI double for Tyler Dossis. His second RBI of the day, and this inning has just turned into disaster for Quincy, this bottom of the fifth. Top of the seventh, Quincy down to their final three outs. Add to their previous one run. Get a four to one lead. All it could be said coming off of the hit batting of hit batter of Sam Farrell is this is another strikeout for Kavanaugh on the day. Devin Desmond gonna strike out and is thrown out easily by Hornum. And that's in there for strike three. Down the middle, caught him looking for out number two. Let's see down to their final out. Gavin Toland to the plate. Two for two on the day, Toland is. Also. Pitch to Tolman. This is hit in the air, right field side. Calabrese ranging over to make the catch, and he will. That'll put an end to the game. Kavanaugh goes the full distance, and Ashland's gonna take the win. The Ashland Sevens take the impressive win over a good Quincy, also known as Morissette team, four to one, and earn a spot in the winner's bracket game the following night at 8 p.m. Wednesday, August 12th, Ashland took on Medfield in the winner's bracket game. The Sevens got things going in the bottom of the first. No TVL, eight o'clock game tonight. As Diamonzo gets a piece of this over to right center, that'll get in for a hit. A leadoff single for the shortstop, and that'll bring up Sam Farrell. Donahue set to deal. And Hornung taking off again. We'll see if Diavonzo tries to go. The flip to second. And now Hornung trips up and he's tagged out. And Hornung, I think, is arguing that he was tripped. And hold on, we might not be through here. They're going to give Hornung second base as he was tripped up by the second baseman. So Hornung awarded second base. Donahue set to deal, leg lift and the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one over to right field. Could be trouble. That'll drop in for a hit. One run is in to score and here comes another. It's two nothing sevens. A two RBI single by Tyler Dossis who just continues to be huge at the plate. 
That's A.D. Avanzo and Jackson Hornung score for the sevens. Medfield bounced right back in the top of the second. Lined up and the pitch. And this is hit up the middle. That'll trickle into left field. A leadoff single for Palmer. Eckliff looks at first and is set to deal. And this is up the middle. And it's going to be bobbled by the second baseman and he'll have no play on it. And this is going to be right back to Ratcliffe, and it, he deflected it and has no play. It looks like it might have maybe hit the dirt in front of the mound. It took a really awkward hop. So a pair of awkward hits, and the bases are loaded for Medfield. Right up and the pitch. And it gets away from the catcher, and the runner from third is going to come and score. Hornung just could not find the ball. And this is hit in the air over to center field. It is caught. Runner from third going to try to tag. The throw in is cut off. And a throw to the plate not in time. And it'll be a 2-2 two -to -two game. 2-2 two -to -two in the top of the third. And Nick Calabrese provided some stellar defense in right field. The midfield bench making some noise. As this is driven in the air over to right field. And it is caught. Yes! Good range there by Nick Calabrese. Set to deal, leg lift and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air, right side. It is in foul territory and it is caught. Nick Calabrese does it again. One, two pitch. Got him. Swing and a miss, sand out number three. A nice sitting by Owen Radcliffe, and that's exactly what the Sevens needed to get a little momentum in their favor. To the bottom of the third we go. We are nodded at two. Top of the sixth inning, still nodded at two apiece. Medfield tried to change that. And this is up the left side, past the glove of Dushney. And McDonald going to third, ran into Dushney. And he's going to allow him to score. So some interference called on Dushney, and Jack McDonald will score. It's a 3-2 to two midfield lead. An RBI single for Jack Goodman. Trailing 3-2, to two. could the Sevens respond? Here's what happened in the bottom of the sixth. Been a great performance from Ryan Donahue so far, and he's out there to try to keep it going. As this is hit up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to first in time. Set to deliver, and he'll get a piece of this one over to right field. That'll get down for a hit. Runner aboard with one out for the sevens. Set to deliver. And this is up the middle, and it's off the pitcher's glove, and he lost it. And the throw to first, not in time. Everyone's safe. Well, 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 a little momentum for the sevens. Kevin Balowitz due up. Set to deliver. And there's the walk. Bases loaded for the sevens. Set to deliver. And this is up the right side. Glove by the first baseman to throw home. And they will get the force out at home. Yo one. Down low gets by the catcher. Runner from third is going to try to score. The throw is not in time. And we have a tie game. And now another runner coming home. And the sevens take the lead. The throw gets away from Donahue. And two runs score. And the sevens reclaim the lead. Kevin Balowitz flying all the way from second base to put the Sevens on top. The Ashland Sevens take the lead four to three, but the question is, could they hold that lead in the top of the seventh? And there's strike three, got him. Medfield down to their final two outs. Max Goodman will step in. And this is hit in the air over to left field, and it's caught by a diving Kevin Balowitz. Two away.
He winds, he deals, hit in the air, and it's a pop fly and caught by the second baseman. And the Ashland Sevens defeat Medfield by a final score of four to three. What a win by the Ashland Sevens. Some terrific pitching by Owen Radcliffe and some tremendous defense helped the Sevens to the four to three win and a spot in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Championship round. On Thursday, August 13th, another 8 p.m. game for the Ashland Sevens, this time for the championship. The Sevens met up with Medfield in the championship round. Dylan Fonseca got the nod for the Sevens. If Ashland wins this game, they are the champions. If they lose, a winner-take-all game would be played the following day. Could the Sevens lock up the championship? Here's what happened. Bottom of the first inning, the Ashland Sevens coming to the plate. Scoreless game with Medfield. Donahue set to deal. And he'll get a piece of this one into left field. It goes. That'll drop down for a hit. A leadoff single for Diavanzo, and that'll bring up Sam Farrell to our right. As this is hit up the middle, slow roller picked up by the shortstop, flipped to second for one. That's all they'll get. Wind up and the pitch down low. Hornung draws the walk. Two on, one out. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the left side. Gloved by the third baseman. Throw to second for one. Throw to first. Is going to get away. And now Farrell's going to come around to score and make it a one to nothing sevens lead. Well, Sam Farrell taking advantage of the misfire. And he comes around to score on the error. Top of the second inning, four, five, and six to up for the Riverazzo Medfield. Sam Palmer, Ben Leonard, and Jack McDonald. A one to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. First pitch is down low. One and oh. Fonseca deals, and this is up the middle off of Fonseca, and now the second baseman gonna run in and overthrow first base. And good job by Horn on getting all the way up the line to back up Kavanaugh to keep Palmer at first base. He winds, he deals, and this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll drop in for a base hit. Two on, one out. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to left field. That'll get down for a hit. And coming around to try to score is the lead runner, Sam Palmer, and we have a one-to-one -one game. An RBI single for Jack Goodman. Top of the third inning, top of the order for Medfield. A one-to-one -one game. Ashland Sevens plating a run in the bottom of the first. Medfield responded in the top of the second. The one-two pitch. And this is chopped in the air, an infield fly here, and Dushney lost it. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss, out number one. Fonseca set to deal, and this is hit in the air above the shortstop into center field, it goes, and the lead runner held up at third. It'll be two in scoring position with one out for Medfield. And this is hit in the air to right field, and that's fair. One run is in, here comes another run. And it's a three to one Medfield lead. A two RBI single by Ben Leonard. There's the 0-2, and this is hit into right field, and another run will score for Medfield. An RBI single for McDonald, and it's a four to one lead. Bottom of the fourth inning, Ashland trailing four to one. Look to pick up some runs. Line up and the pitch, and Kramer gets a piece of this one. Up the middle and then bobbled by the shortstop. It was hard hit and he just couldn't get the glove on it. Kramer's aboard with a hard hit single. That'll bring up Mason Dushney. 1-1 pitch, and this is hit up the left side. 
Love by the shortstop. It's a long throw, and it's going to get away. And here comes Connor Kramer to score a sevens run. It's a 4-2 game. Mason Dushne with an RBI single advancing to second. Kramer scores on the error. Bottom of the sixth inning. Ashland trailing 4-2 and running out of time. There's ball four. Kavanaugh draws the walk. Tyler Doss is stepping to the plate. Midfield coach coming out. Let's see if he takes the ball. And this is up the right side. That'll get into right field. Kavanaugh is going to keep going to third. The throw in is not going to be in time, and Kavanaugh is safe. Doss is advancing to second. Runners on second and third, no outs for the sevens. On deck. And he makes contact up the left side, gloved by the third baseman, throw to first, they get the out. Runners stay put. Five to three for out number one. Here's the two one. Kramer hits this one up the right side, gloved by the second baseman, throw to first, they get the out. Four to three for out number two. And now it'll be up to Shea Donovan. And he draws the walk. And the ball gets away. Kavanaugh trying to score. And they call him out. The ball got away. Kavanaugh came home and said he jumped over the tag. And they call him out. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to center field. And it's caught. And that's it for the ball game. Medfield forces an elimination game tomorrow. The Ashland Sevens fall to Medfield 4-2 and the River Rats of Medfield force a winner take all game the following day. On Friday, August 14th, the Ashland Sevens and Medfield got things started up at 6 p.m. The Sevens met up with Medfield in the winner take all game to try to claim the ultimate prize the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Championship. Tyler Dossis got the start on the hill for the Sevens. Here's a look at what happened. Connor Donovan had the call. Tyler Dossis to the plate for the Sevens. Dossis, in addition to being fantastic behind the mound, has just been electric in the batter's box for the Sevens in this Final Four tournament. As he hits this uh, through the diving shortstop of Medfield, but it's going to get by him into left field for a leadoff base hit. It's going to bring up Shea Donovan, and he's going to get hit on the first pitch, first and second with no outs. Alowitz has been trusty over in left field and has done pretty much what you need him to do with the plate. As this is. A blooper to shallow right field. It's going to get over the second baseman. And bases are loaded with no outs for Ashland here. Just like that. It's just been absolutely stellar in that nine spot. And had some fantastic defensive plays earlier in the tournament over in right field. As this is hit on the first base line, it's a fair ball. Ashland coming around to score one. And Balowitz will score two. It's a two-nothing lead for Ashland off of a one-out base hit uh, double, two RBI double, I should say, for Nick Calabrese. That's what he's done all season. It's been so fantastic, and that's going to bring up the top of the order in Dante Diavanzo. Top of the fourth for midfield. We have Dennis Folan, the designated hitter. Three and one. Outside, and Folan's going to draw the walk. First walk of the day for Dossus in the regular season and in this final four as this is hit to center field. Fringing back and making the catch is Sam Farrell. Leonard singled in his first at bat but was caught up in a double play. This is hit in the air to the left fielder, ranging over and making the catch is Kevin Balowitz for out number two. It's going to bring up. Jack McDonald, and this is going to split the gap, get by Diavonzo for a two out base hit. Dossis from the stretch. Two on, two outs. 
This is hit on the ground to the shortstop. And the second baseman was not there. And misplay from Kavanaugh throw home. And he got he did not get him. Wind up in the pitch from Dossis. This is hit into right field. Ranging over is Calabrese and makes the catch. Dossis from the stretch. This is whacked into center field. Ranging back and making the catch is Farrell for out number three. We're gonna head into the bottom of the fifth. Ashland still maintaining that two to one lead. Not always gonna be enough against a good midfield team. That's ball four up, up high. Try to get him swinging with the high cheese there. Didn't work out. Kavanaugh takes off for second, but this is gonna split the gap up the middle. And Kavanaugh, because he got that lead, tried to steal second. He makes it to third easily. hit on the ground to the third baseman. A brilliant throw, but or a brilliant catch, but a bad throw from Nick Sheehan, and a run is going to score for Ashland. That is very unlike Nick Sheehan over at third base. He's been so consistent. Two pretty vital errors in the game for Medfield, though. As this is whacked, and it's going to split the gap deep into right field. Both the runners are going to come around. Ashland blowing this game open. Two runs are gonna score. A no out, two RBI triple for Kevin Balowitz. This Ashland bench and Ashland stands are electric right now. Five to one the lead for Ashland in this bottom of the fifth. This is hit in the air to the center fielder, ranging back and making the catch, but Balowitz is gonna tag. And he will do so. A six to one lead for Ashland. This is hit on the ground, fielded by Shea Donovan. Throw over to first is in time. Medfield goes one, two, three, and we're gonna head to the bottom of the seventh, or sixth, excuse me. Ashland still with a six to one lead. He rips this one up the third base line for a base hit. One out base hit for Kavanaugh. It's going to bring up Tyler Dossus. Dossus eventually won. And throw down to first is not in time. It's going to be a stolen bag, the second of the day for the Sevens for Kavanaugh. The Sevens probably just trying to get people into scoring position as this is ripped into left field. But well fielded by the left fielder, Ben Leonard. It's gonna hold the Kavanaugh over at third base. But a one out base hit for Tyler Dossis is gonna continue his reign of terror at the plate. On the pivotal error that really kick-started things for Ashland. Dossis is gonna move down to second, but an overthrow from the catcher. Kavanaugh is gonna come around to score. Seven to one, the Ashland lead here. This is hit in the air over to Balowitz, and he makes the catch. Ashland are your Massachusetts Independent Baseball League champions, taking this final outing over Medfield with a score of Seven to one, and you see him celebrating over on the pitcher's mound, probably mobbing Dossus for pitching an incredible complete game. The Ashland Sevens take the seven to one win and claim the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Championship. The Sevens finish 19 and three overall and claim the ultimate prize. Connor caught up with some of the Sevens after the game. So I'm here with uh, Dom Cavanaugh and Louis Dennison, uh, new uh, MIBL champions. How does it feel, guys? Feels great, really great. Yeah, uh, we worked we worked hard for this one. Yeah, it was definitely a long season. Uh, we didn't really know what was going to happen. 
I mean, we're definitely happy to, I mean, even be here. And just to, like, cap it off like this is just, like, it's just really special. And uh, so this was a good Medfield team. And you guys probably know them, know some of these kids from, from TVL or whatever. So uh, what do you think it took to, to get the upper hand on this team specifically? Because they've, they've been giving you guys trouble all season. Um, we just had to be, I think it was confidence and, you know, trusting each other as a team. And um, that's what we did tonight. That's why we got to win. So, Yeah, I think we just really don't think about what, what's going on with the other team and really just be on us as much as we can. We know we got guys that can go out there and get base hits and hit the ball around, field their positions cleanly, and that's what it comes down to. And of course, with Doss out there, we never, Doss is never going to let down. Gamer. He's a gamer. Thank you so much, guys. Congratulations. Oh, we got a fist bump, fist bumps. So we're here with head coach Jake Obed. Uh, Jake, so at the beginning, and uh, Andrew Kime, obviously, the first base coach. Um, so at the beginning of this season, you guys didn't even know if you'd be playing baseball, right? Because the Legion season got canceled. What were the uh, the goals for you as soon as the season got structured and everything? Yeah, I mean, every year, uh, by every year, I mean, I'm only, I've only been here two. So right. both years I've been here, we took an index card and we had, and we had the kids write um, personal goals on the front and team goals on the back. And every single kid's team goal was to win a championship. We didn't know what bracket it was going to be. We didn't know what the deal was going to be. We lucked out that it was a competitive 16-team bracket. Uh, and we all sought out to win it. And that was our one goal. And uh, it's, it's great to accomplish that tonight. Yeah. So, uh, and of course, you guys took a tough loss against this uh, awesome Medfield team yesterday. What was, the, what was the reset for you guys? How do you push the reset button on a game like that? Today, honestly, we met uh, pretty early. Um, and we just had a conversation, a very open, honest conversation about where I went wrong. The coaches all sort of acknowledged where we were wrong. The players did the same. Um, and we just talked about it. We just had to get loose, get back to us, um, and just come here with the same attitude and just positive energy we've had all year. And we were able to do that. Uh, Credit to them. I mean, it's all credit to the kids. Yeah. They were, that's a tough loss to flush. They did it really well, and, uh, you know, they came through today. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, what was, what helped, do you think, with, like, really getting this team jazzed again? I think it was a realization of what this game meant. Not even necessarily that it was a championship, but just that th this was the end. Right. But one way or the other, this was going to be the end, and Jake and I both hit on that today. And just how much fun Legion baseball is. Jake and I started playing the same year. Like Brendan Thurber took us under his wing. Like so, we told the guys how much that, how much this program meant to us, and how much it can mean to each of them going forward, and that they can look back on this so excited. And I think that's really what put them, kind of just locked them in. They knew how much this game meant. I mean, all these Ashland kids played in a state championship football game right. six months ago. Yeah. So the fact that they had that, I think they knew what, what was at stake tonight. And how about Tyler Dossis, huh? Going up there pitching full games, like three games in a row. What, what more can you say about him? Ty Dossis is the man. I mean, that guy is just... He's cold. He's, yeah, oh, the bare hand, come yeah. on. That bare hand play, that just sums up Ty Dossis. Like, you knew... We were all, like, I was saying on the... I was saying, <laughs> I was saying on the drive up here, I was like, I was really pissed last night. And then I woke up and I was like... We have Dawson's. So, I mean, we sort of knew going in he was going to give us a really good shot to win. It was just the best seed to wake up, and they did. That Kevin Balowitz triple really put the game away, and it was great to see him break out of that slump. For sure. Yeah. So uh, what, what more do you have to say to the fans watching at home before we wrap up this whole season? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I mean, just thank you for, for the support. I mean, I know we we all threw this season together, um, and it ended up turning into something. I don't know if a lot of people – really saw about how well it would turn into. Um, but post 77 is not going anywhere. No. No, we're our goal, we're, we're already back to next year's goals and that's to get to the World Series in Shelby. Yeah. Um, I think we got a good chance at that too. Um, and you can, you better believe that, that we're gonna be back. This isn't the, the last time we're celebrating, so. Thank you guys. Absolutely.